Hello, Akron fans! Welcome to another exhibition match. This is Shadow Fury 33 commentating a match between J Raccoon and Cybernetic Pony on Samak Valley. So, both players should be fairly familiar to anyone who's watched this recently. They've been actually playing quite a lot recently. J Raccoon, actually, Cybernetic Pony especially, J Raccoon as well. Both these players are very active. Cybernetic Pony very quickly going for Seasol. J Raccoon will likely go for Grekum but he hasn't actually chosen yet. I think he might have gotten distracted and not realized the game loaded at this point. So we'll check back in and when he jumps back and there we go. Now he's probably doing something relevant. There we go, going for Grekum. As expected, though he is leaving himself a bit of room to race switch if he wanted to. And given what Cybernetic Pony has been mentioning about how CISO has a hard time dealing with both Grekum and Vekir with the same strategy, I wouldn't be surprised if J-Raccoon decided to go for a species switch, not race switch, but a species switch after setting up, or after letting Jer Cybernetic Pony get set up. That would not surprise me one bit. Let's see. What is Jericho up to? Is he using these Octos to attack? If he is, then I expect a race switch. If not, or species switch. And if not, then I expect he's going to be... No, I think he's going for it. He's going to be going for an attack, and that means he's probably using that as a distraction. Probably going to try to make sure that Cybernetic Pony is set up as a def or setting up a defense against Grekim, and then going to switch over to Vekir. And fire off a more powerful attack that Cybernetic Pony will not be prepared to counter. Or just play to the mid game while Cybernetic Pony is trying to handle defense. Cybernetic Pony, however, is. is he, was he building in the center of the map? I think he was. Anyway, he is aware of what's going on. He sees Jericho's forces coming in. And we'll see if he actually goes for it. It looks like he is holding some units back for defense. He does have a SimCity set up, which at this point, the way he has it set up isn't actually that useless for Vecchio. So he could. It's not exactly a bad thing. It's not like he spent a bunch of money on a strategy that won't work for Vecchio. It looks like he himself is going for a 2 RP 3 Importer infantry based rush. And there he starts building his infantry. He did think that this is the best type of rush for this. And Jericoon switching to economy, not switching to Vecchio. It's so interesting. He's not actually taking advantage of the species switching. He's just, he's just harassing to trick. I'm a little bit surprised, not entirely though, since I don't see Jericho play Vekir much, if at all, but he does have that as a thing he could do. I mean, it's just something I would expect he'd do because it would have been a pretty big advantage if he'd pulled it off. But it looks like he is instead just going for a more economic focused opening, while Cyberpunk Pony is setting himself up quite decisively for... Oh, Jericho double checking that his rush is still looking like it's working. But Cyberpunk Pony is setting himself quite decisively for this attack. I think he's... he might just be switching... He might be waiting for something. There we go. There he's going for an attack. I was going to say, he might be waiting to have enough for defense, or he might be waiting for an attack to come in. But now it's confirmed that the rush is not happening. Jericoon, double check. Just, he's not going for a rush. He doesn't seem to be switching back. He does have the time. It's not quite in the unplayable past yet, but it is pretty close. So it's not likely that he's going to be going for that rush ultimately. Not that he should. Cybernetic Pony is well set up to defend against it and would be able to fend off the Octos coming in. So Cybernetic Pony did have his units nice in the back for defense for the time where the rush could come in. But he is moving out now, and Sa Jericoon will have to deal with this. Cybernetic Pony is in a good spot right now. Jericoon not at all prepared to deal with this. He does have a couple units that he could stand up, but he doesn't have any Octos in production. And he, all the Octos he has for production are turning into resource processors. Of course, he could go back and undo the resource processor aspect of that. But it would require jumping back and canceling them from using or from doing the resource processor construction after they come out. Because of the way that he has it set up, it's a single order to set up the resource processor, but it means that it takes another order to cancel it rather than simply doing a full undo on everything that they do. However, he is setting up some Octos. He does have enough Q Plasma for an Octopod once he gets the liquid crystal. He's 43 liquid crystal, he needs 70. Cybernetic Pony at the 240 mark is actually moving his rush out sooner than he had previously. Or at least he's moving it no later than he had previously. We see the 430 mark, we don't see him moving quite yet, but that's just because whatever he's doing hasn't propagated. He is about a minute and a half in the past relative to J-Raccoon. J-Raccoon double checking for this sort of rush a little bit, just making sure that he sees all the units coming out. Nice scout pattern, actually. It's moving around in a little S pattern around the map. But, Cybernetic Pony, he will probably be spotted by that. Actually, it's hard to tell. If he goes straight through at the right timing, the Octo will actually miss them. If he goes straight through right now, I think. He is sending some imagery over to the other side just to double check. He might find the Octo. It's really a matter of when this times out. And given that Jericho is two minutes up from there, I think 
780 pony, if he just attacks from here, he's probably waiting until the Amplable Pass comes into range. So probably when the Amplable Pass is about here. That's when I'm guessing he'll go for the attack. At which point Jerichoon will not actually be able to scout it in time. Jerichoon will probably spot these units with that Octo at some point, but he's not going to be able to scout it out in time. He does see the Special Ops. Doesn't actually give anything away about what Cybernetic Pony is planning on doing. He may have just thrown away this starting Special Ops for all Jerichoon knows. Jerichoon actually doesn't really know anything of what's going on inside Cybernetic Pony's base right now. And Cybernetic Pony... There we go. The Unplayable Past Edge is switching the side of his army. He is going for the attack. There we go. Shooting for that attack, or at least shooting for a bit of a harassment. He's not there. Is he going for the attack? No, he's still moving forward. Well, I'm assuming he's going to go for that attack because I'm just waiting for the chrono energy with which to do so. At any rate, it looks like J Raccoon is not really aware of that army. Saturday Pony has lost the special ops, but at the same time, he has. It... Well, we'll see how Jericoon reacts from here. I think Jericoon may be aware of what's going on, but... Nope, he's not. He's still going for economy. He has no idea what's happening. So Cybernetic Pony will be able to decisively win at this rush if... Well, not even a rush anymore. It's six minutes in. In fact, why is Jericoon focusing so heavily on economy? You'd expect he'd have a reef by now. There's an Octopod at the 450 mark. Admittedly, that's it's a little bit late. And there we go. Now getting an Octo into Progen mode. Finally getting a reef up. Admittedly, the five-minute mark is not that late normally. But on a map like Samak Valley, given the size of the map, it is a little bit surprising that he waited this long. It's only due to the size of the map, the fact that rushes like this are actually fairly easy to pull off. And Cybernetic Pony continuing to build up infantry has a nice backup army in case this one goes down, which it probably will. If he waits too long, it definitely will. I mean, Jerichoon does have Octobots coming up now, and I'm... Admittedly, the unplayable pass edge around here is when the attack is actually going. To see the red time wave coming along, and... No, Cybernetic Pony has not actually changed his orders. These units are still just hanging out. He needs to jump back here and attack. These Octopods will stop him. I mean, two of them is not... won't stop him quite then, but more are being built. I mean, four of them at the 650 mark, or 640 mark, rather. Cybernetic Pony is only slightly behind. He does have... he can just jump back here. He should do that right now, actually. The blue time of is just past the Ampillow Past Edge. He should jump back, move these units into position, just attack directly. I don't know what he's waiting for. J Raccoon, on the other hand, is getting more and more prepared for this attack. He is... I don't know why he is just being allowed to do this. Cybernetic Pony needs to attack, and J Raccoon actually going for a counter rush. Oh, I guess a preemptive counter rush, really. There we go. Cybernetic Pony jumping back to the Impelible Past Edge. He may have waited a little bit too long, but it looks like he is finally going for that attack right as the first Octopod is being built. So J Raccoon is being punished for this. But Cybernetic Pony could have done it about 20 real-time seconds earlier, given the position of the time waves. And it would have been better had he done so, because he needs to jump away right now. As I mentioned before, he needs to jump away. There we go! That's exactly what he needed to do, so the green time of will carry it along. But he should have waited, or should have had it happen right as the blue time wave had just passed the Amplilo Past Edge, which was about 20 real-time seconds prior to when he had gone in. Getting some Lancers, interesting choice, nice backup in case he needs them against the Octopods or for defense. J Raccoon, his attack is actually... Well, his attack doesn't really matter. Cybernetic Pony's attack is coming in and dealing a great deal of damage at the 522 mark. Before any real defenses come in, one Octopod is up, but Cybernetic Pony will be able to tear everything apart. 550 mark at the edge of the Impelable Past. That is pretty much game. Jerichoon did not defend enough chronally early in the game and is pretty much losing for it. Jerichoon, on the other hand, or further in the present, he does have his Octopods up in the present, dealing quite a bit of damage or would have dealt a fair amount of damage, but I think Jerichoon is just going to throw in the towel. I... Yeah, there's no way out of this. The Octopods that are up here are not really there, and the green time of will destroy it. it, it J Raccoon did not know it was coming. That's surprising. You'd think he... Well, okay, he knew it was coming. Why Why didn't you do anything about it, J Raccoon? I'm curious. If you knew it was coming, you, you had time. You could have gone back. You could have built defenses. But that's... That's the game, I guess. I mean... Cybernetic Pony getting his infantry rush to work. Admittedly, I'm a bit surprised he did wait as long as he did. It seems like it would be very powerful rush, but you'd have to be a bit more conscientious about where the Unplayable Past is at any given time. I'm a bit surprised Cybernetic Pony wasn't using... Or was using bookmarks. No, he wasn't. He had no bookmarks up. Yeah, it, 
really good thing to do. It's control and any of the F, well, F1 to F8 will set a bookmark, and then hitting F1 to F8 will recall the bookmark, jumping you to that point in time. It's extremely useful for keeping track of when you are in the timeline and when you want to be, and when a certain event on the timeline is, say, near the unplayable past. That's... That's really important to do. So if Cybernetic Pony does that, I think this infantry rush would become... I don't know what game-breaking, but really powerful. Very difficult to counter. Anyway, that's game one, so I will be back with another game shortly. Stay tuned for that.